In this episode, we are riding my local loop, summiting the Mai, and further exploring the Ockels by riding Coles Noor. Three, two, one, drop it! My name is Scotty Lockland, and this is Scotty's Scotland Showcase. This season, we're going on some big adventures, exploring parts of Scotland I didn't know existed, and discovering some amazing single track. I think everyone's got a spot where they can remember their first proper mountain bike ride, and this is mine. I grew up in Bridgevallen and the mine woods became my second home. Every day I could would be spent building and riding. As I discovered more, the landscape I rode in shaped my style of riding. What made living here so special? The fact I have everything right on my doorstep. This is home and it holds a special place in my heart and I'm excited to share it with you. First up, the loop. This is a route I've been doing since day one. It starts and finishes in Bridge of Allen, passes through the reservoir, Lower Damaya, down Witches Craig, the Uni Woods and finishes in the Mine Woods. It's short but sweet and is rideable almost year round. I can lap this over and over and no two days are ever the same. Stats of the loop, 10 kilometers with 420 meters of ascent and descent with a little bit of everything. Mountain biking for me is an escape. It's an opportunity to forget the stresses and just be at one. It doesn't matter how long or short, being out on my bike brings me a sense of calm. And on the loop within 10 minutes, you forget where you are and it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere with rolling hills in front and mountains behind. Top of which is Craig. This is one of my favorite descents on the local loop. It's fast, it's got some technical sections. You come out and ride along cliff top edges. There's some big compressions in there and it's just, it's really fun. The terrain is really nice, the ground's good, there's nice grip and you're just riding and ripping through the trees. So, let's drop in and I can show you what it's like. Is Craig. A varied descent, a little bit of everything there. It finishes with a challenging section up to the road and then it's a short, steep transition to the Uni Woods. The next trail in the loop starts at the top of the Uni Woods. It winds its way down, it's fast, it's got a few little drop-offs, it's got some sprints, it's got some really nice turns, and then a fast section between the trees. Kind of, again, got a little bit of everything. There's some amazing sections in there that test every rider. 
From here we pedal up with the background of the Wallace Monument to the Mine Woods to the last ascent of the loop. We're at the top of our final ascent. We're about to descend through the Mine Woods. This is a lap that I've been doing pretty much my whole life. There's loads of variations. We're sticking to the original trail. It's fast, it's fun, it's flowy. There's some compressions in there, some jumps, and it finishes off with this sick leaf section. I don't know what it is, but there's something I've always loved about taking on a circular loop, where you start and finish in the same place without crossing where you've been or riding the same bit of trail twice. This area was where it all started for me. It allowed me to develop and progress as a rider. I used to spend every minute I could up the woods, building, riding and sessioning with my friends. And this is a loop that no matter where I've been in the world, I look forward to coming back to riding. It can take as little as 40 minutes, or even a couple of hours, and it keeps me coming back for more. Next, we're heading up to Mayat. Part of the Okal Hills, it sits at 434 meters above sea level. Up here on the summit of Mayat, an extension of the loop, one of my favorite places to be. Beautiful panoramic views, 360 degrees. This is the first time I've managed to catch sunrise and it has been absolutely epic. We've got these little vapor clouds just rolling through. We've got the, the sun just coming up behind the mountain right there and it's just absolutely amazing. We've got a complete empty mountain to ourselves. This has got a lot of different features, some big compressions, some rock faces. I'm excited, let's drop in. I love the Demaya descent and having a summit like this right on my doorstep is incredible. It's got big views over to the south and also onto the Highland Fault Line. The trail has that alpine feel of volcanic rocks, loose gravel and endless single track. And from here you can ride Witch's Craig, the Uni Woods and the Mine Woods. Trail building has helped my progression in this sport. Carving your own sections, practicing them over and over, and this one in particular was built to practice my cornering technique when I raced World Cup downhill. We get in there, it's looking a lot better. Some more support in the turns, a little bit of drainage, and just overall a freshen up. On to the last turn now and the track is looking so much better. Cleaned up, it become really hard packed. There was lots of stones that were just really loose and hard to turn on. Got rid of them, fresh dirt down, it's gonna be running sweet. This short section of trail, which starts at the top of the mine woods, is called Learn to Turn, and it packs a punch. It's super steep and places awkward, and you have to be really at one with the bike, mastering your braking and understanding your body position to really nail the trail.
This is an easy addition to the loop. You can lap it over and over to master it and pedal back up to the copper mine path to the start of the mine woods. The Ocals have been my most recent doorstep discovery. The grassy, open hill footpaths make for fun mountain bike trails and can be made into all day epics. We're heading up Colesnore. Sitting at 553 meters, it's got views onto Damaya and over Stirlingshire. Living here has allowed me to explore and discover where your mountain bike can really take you. And whilst there might be no mountains, I've got pretty much every style of riding right here at home. Thanks for watching this episode of Scotty's Scotland Showcase. It's been a pleasure sharing my local riding spot with you. And if you want to ride any of these routes for yourself, then you can find the link in the description to the Kamut collection where you'll be able to follow turn for turn. Next up, it's time for the real adventures to begin as we start to make our way north where I tackle some big mountain descents in the Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park.